Hi there, Michelle with Crafty Servings. One of my most popular videos that I did on a live was clothespin angel ornaments. And I just wanted to do one up close so you can see exactly what I'm doing. If you take three clip clothespins and you take each one apart, just take those clips off and you end up with six pieces. Then you want to use the napkin. Now you can also do this with children, but you wouldn't want to do the napkin method the way I'm doing it. We're actually using the burn method on the napkin. So you want to make sure that you don't have uh, separate plies. You want to just have one ply. So what we're gonna do is cut this apart, use any napkin you want. You're basically using this napkin as color so it doesn't matter the picture. You're just using it for whatever color you like. So we're just gonna take a piece of scotch tape here, separate off that ply because you want to get it down to just one ply. And you lay the napkin down, face side down. Now, the shape of the angel ornament will be where you want just one flat side, the flat side against each other like that. So, and we only have to do one side of it. So I'm just gonna get, you use Mod Podge and we're just going to just do a little bit of Mod Podge on each clothespin, just on that bottom side and lay it down. Again, it doesn't matter what napkin you use, whatever colors you like. You don't have to paint the clothespin first, but it would brighten up the colors if you like extra brightness on your angel. You can certainly paint it first and then put the napkin on. Just put enough Mod Podge on just to keep that on your napkin. And then we're gonna end up cutting that apart. So you do each one, and again, we're just doing one side. Let's put some up on that hat up there. And we're going to put maybe one right over there. And I just wanna see, now I had them laid out. I'm hoping that I have the right sides that, that we're doing. We want three of them that will be facing in. Yep, and three that'll be facing the opposite way. So we're good to go. All right, so just press them down. And let's cut off a little bit of this excess napkins. Especially when you're using the burn method, you don't need this. Now you certainly can use a sanding block, but it's just a lot easier doing it this way because you've got all those little grooves that you're trying to get around. So if you just cut them apart like this, And then I'll show you the burn method if you haven't seen it before. So you want to get a lot of the excess off. Because you really don't want a lot of it there to burn with. You do need some. But whatever way you want to Mod Podge. Again, if you're doing this with children, I wouldn't recommend this method. Just do it. You know, have them color on them or paint on them. It would be perfectly fine. All right, so I always have water next to me when I do this. And we've got the lighter. Let me just show you. And now you have to really pay attention to what you're doing because it's a smaller surface and you want to make sure that you're not getting your fingers in the way of it. Now, some of it maybe won't burn, depending if you had some of that Mod Podge on the side, but that's okay. Uh, you're not gonna always see that because most of it's gonna be facing each other. So do that on each one of these. And again, just make sure you have water next to you while you're doing this. 
but you can see that color is so pretty on there and it's just going to be a little bit of a rustic angel by using this color and i just use the napkin to wipe off the excess ash off of it This is one of my favorite ways to use napkins. My other favorite way is to also to use the iron method, but it would be pretty hard again to sand off the rest of it around all those little grooves. So it's for something like this, this works just great. All right, we've got, well, I was gonna say, we got all six of them done, but nope, got one left here. All right, now we've got all six of them done. And we've got, this is probably about a 5 eighths inch bead. And you've got the large hole in it. We're going to take a piece of jute. Just make sure it's long enough because this is going to be your hanger also. And just cut a piece. And string it through the angel head and then maybe tie a knot. You can always put glue in here after if you need to, but this is gonna be your hanger. So just tie that knot like that. Then also, then you take a pipe cleaner. The sparkle pipe cleaners would be really pretty with this, but I don't have any. So I have this pretty white one, but I don't think that really goes with this. So we're gonna just use the brown. I'm just gonna make a loop and this is our halo. We're just going to twist it together, fold it over, and put that right in the angel's head. Oh, and I see, sorry, I just kicked you a little bit. Make sure you can still see where we are. Okay, so that's the start of the angel. The other thing we're gonna prep right away is we have ribbon that I'm going to use for the for the wings you could also use you know this is like boa that would be beautiful depending upon what napkin you use or if you paint it would be gorgeous just anything you could use uh, burlap anything like that but we're just going to use a little bit of this ribbon this ribbon was from Joann's you can get it I think at Walmart too I'm just folding it up Put it together and then you take another piece of jute or whatever string you have tie it up and this is gonna be cute little wings for our angel and then cut off the excess of that all right, we've got that, and the last prop we're going to do is we're just going to take a little bit of raffia and we're going to make a bowl. So you don't need a big, big amount. We can cut the ends off. Just I like certain parts of my raffia, so can we just wrap that around. If you want the bowl a little bigger, you just spread your fingers apart a little bit more. Just cutting off this. Excess. I'm going to just use one of these raffia pieces to tie this together. And I like wrapping it around just that couple of times. It holds it all together so you don't have to try and have all kinds of hands there trying to hold that little bit of raffia bow together. And that's your bow. And then we're going to start putting this sweet angel together. All right, so get these laid up again and look at which one. So the flats are always going to be to the middle. So you'll have like that. And I think I actually like this flat part better. We're going to do that in the center. And then always put the flat side together. So that's why I have you line them up first. So that you know that you're going to have them all on the right side of your nap uh, for your napkin. All right, so let's just take these apart, and we're going to take 
and put a little glue on each side of this one and on this one. So this was the center again. I'm just gonna lay this on here. And you want that, the top bead, you want that up above. Just pinch that together. Now I'm using low temp glue. Uh, use whatever you like. And then you're gonna do that for each one of these. You're just gonna put it, it's easier to do it on the flat side. So let's just take that flat side, put it on, just line it back up. You could even use some fabric tack or whatever glue you have of your choice. This is just Gorilla Glue. It's one of my favorites, along with fabric tack. I think those are my two favorites. All right, and then we're gonna do the side. And I've got each one meeting up by the top ball of that angel. Just shifting that halo a little bit there. Okay, last one. All right, all together. Now we're gonna take this and we're just gonna add some glue on the top here and lay our angel right on there. And then make sure you've got your raffia all the way you want it. Add a little bit of glue on there. And I tuck that right up under the neck so that you don't see where that all comes together. And the last piece is I always like to use a button. So I've got one of these handmade with love buttons. We're gonna just put a little bit of glue on there and tuck that right under the neck here too. And that's our angel ornament. Let's just cut this off. Isn't she pretty? So just make them your own. There's so many ways that you can make these ornaments. They're just beautiful. So yeah, definitely give it a try. Do it with kids. You let them paint them before you, they put them together. They don't necessarily have to use napkins. There's just so many things you can use for the wings. Uh, just have fun with it.